Alright, so in this video we're going to uh, load test the BESC um, with no calling fans just over the feds and then mm -hmm. the last video will be um, the best with heat sinks and fans. Um, I've tried out a few different heat sinks and stuff, it's quite hard to actually get um, some good heat sinks on the um, BESC just due to the way it's uh, sort of made and laid out. Um, the shunts get really hot at high amps um, so they would be saying you'd want to call but they're pretty hard to call down um, obviously because you'd be making some sort of connection between the two shunts and yeah so um, anyway it seems to be doing it seems to hold out for what I am testing and what I have tested it holds out at them amps so it, it does alright um, so yeah so just uh, I've put all the results after each video um, and then I'll probably do a um, end result and just a little talk at the end about what I found All right, I hope you enjoy the video if you do please subscribe and like um, I'll be doing some more testing later on with some uh, bigger ESCs should <coughs> hopefully max out these motors a bit and max out the load uh, the like the low bench I've got. Alright, cheers guys. And so this is the low test with no cooling. Uh, and so I'm going to take it to about 50 amps and then um, just let it run until it overheats and then find a sweet spot of where it will run at its highest amount with no cooling. Alright, let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go.
cool. So I look back over the results and but see what that was. Wasn't a good though. Kept cutting out. Anyway, I will uh, put some fans on it next and run it with just fans. Right, so now I've just put two fans either side. So one's sucking, one's blowing, so it's just running over the, over the ESC there. Let's give that a go. It should be a bit easier because um, with the other one it just gets so hot and it can't go anywhere so it just stays on the best so you sort of get a level that doesn't keep dropping. Uh, it just keeps dropping and dropping and lowering that's why the motors in the end uh, eventually stop because it just got way too hot. There's no way to dissipate the heat. Uh, with the fans I think we should be able to um, expel some of the heat and actually find a, a better running level than what we did without them. Yeah, here we go. cool off one minute because I think 41 was the limit so I wanted to see how that sits around in the temperature scale let's go again and then maybe just put a, uh, a test result at the end of each clip. Anyway, let's put the, uh, the heat sinks on and do the next video. Right, so this is the vest with the heat sinks, I'll just show you 
just um, two heat sinks either side which are glued on uh, with thermal glue and then two fans facing. I tried it the other way, flat with the fans run, running across the top, one blowing and one sucking, but I think this way is better. So I'm going to start off with 50 amps. Um, Yeah, start off with 50, like I did last time, wait till it overheats and then just find a uh, spot that it sits at comfortably and then count that as it's rating. Right, so uh, here we go. Actually, let's put the cord on here, get the temperature. So that looked like 39, um, 39 amps on the motor output, which is um, quite a bit better, better. And obviously it cooled a lot quicker, so it's already cooled back down to 40 degrees now, so it's much better with the cooling on. Um, all right, cool, I've got the results up and uh, finish it up. Cool, cheers. But that was uh, pretty good. Um, the load, the load bench got pretty hot doing that. So that was um, the wires coming off the load motor got got really warm on that last test, with especially with the heat sinks on there. Um, it was really pushing it. So I might have to change some of the wiring so we don't get so much heat. Because uh, I've got enough load. I think I probably got too much load because I don't go. Um, I think it's like seven volts. I think on the field winding, so I can go up to like. You know, into 20, 20 volts, which is going to create a lot more load for the for the motor. So it'd be interesting um, if I just lower, shorten some of the wiring, and um, put less of a load on there. So it's just not so much heat. But I don't know. Would that work? I don't know. Figure it out anyway. Um, but yeah, 
So with the calling, just uh, with no no fans at all, um, so 15 amps or something, um, which is all right if you've got a skateboard that only uses you know a certain amount pulling away and then coast for a while, but no good for you know putting my kids kids toys and stuff. It's um, probably end up overheating. Um, well, definitely will overheat. Uh, so with with just fans, that was a uh, 29 amps with uh, 1100 watts, which isn't too bad from just fans. Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna, if you definitely got one and you're not overheating, you probably put a fan on there anyway, just to keep it keep them temps down a bit. I would, um, and then with the heat sinks, got 39. Uh, 39 amps and 100 and uh, 1,500 watts. So that's pretty good. So it's um, you know it's up there. I would like to actually test one of the cheap Chinese um, 1,500 watt. Yeah, uh, yeah, 1,500 watt um, brushless controllers. I might get one on eBay. Give that a test. But um, yeah, so what? Um, going to work on next is an aluminium block with a 10 mil copper pipe running through it and sort of sandwich the vesk either side um, and then run some water through there uh, on a small pump and just see if you can get any more out of it without overheating or have we hit the limit because the because of the MOSFETs are directing their heat to the to the uh, printing circuit board to the actual main board and that's where the heat is getting stuck and only a certain amount is going to expel through the top of the feds. I'm not sure, I don't know, but I, th I think that could be the case. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, just uh, yeah, hit, hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, we'll get on to doing the vlogs this week and linking that all up, see how that goes. Cheers guys.